वेलकम टू द लेटेस्ट अपडेट प्रोग्राम द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ग्लोबल ई वेस्ट मॉनिटर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर रिसेंटली द यू एंस फोर्थ ग्लोबल ई वेस्ट मॉनिटर वॉज रिलीज द ग्लोबल ई वेस्ट मॉनिटर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इज फंडेड एंड प्रिपेयर इन पार्टनरशिप बाय द यूनिटा एस साइकिल प्रोग्राम आई टी यू एंड फाउंडेशन कार्बिनेट ई वेस्ट प्रेजेंट्स अ यूनिक चैलेंज ड्यू टू इट्स डाइवर्स कंपोजिशन एनकम्पासिंग वेरियस मटीरियल्स एंड कॉम्पोनेट्स एज वेल एज अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ प्रोडक्ट टाइप्स दैट आर कॉन्स्टेंटली इवॉल्विंग This includes increasingly compact parts, embedded electronics in conventional items, and the proliferation of interconnected products capable of accessing the internet. In 2022, the world produced a staggering 62 billion kg of e-waste, projected to surge to 82 billion kg by 2030. The increase in e-waste production far surpasses the growth in formal recycling efforts by nearly five times. This surge is propelled by factors such as technological advancements, increased consumption. limited repair options short product life cycles and expanding electronification aggravated by inadequate e-waste management infrastructure of the 62 billion kg generated in 2022 only 13.8 billion kg was formally collected and recycled in an environmentally sound manner the remaining e-waste is either informally processed in both high income and low income countries or disposed of as residual waste primarily ending up in landfills Europe exhibits the highest rate of documented formal collection and recycling while Africa faces challenges in managing its e-waste despite lower generation rates. Asia accounting for nearly half of global e-waste lacks in effective management and legislation. Regions with higher per capita e-waste generation such as Europe, Oceania and the Americas also demonstrate higher collection and recycling rates owing to advanced infrastructure. However, Recycling rates for certain categories of e-waste like toys and small IT equipment remain low globally. On the policy front, progress is noted with many countries adopting e-waste policies, extended producer responsibility regulations, and targets for collection and recycling rates. Nonetheless, significant gaps persist in effectively managing the escalating e-waste crisis. Now is the time to test your knowledge. The question is, which organization released the Global E-Waste Monitor 2024 report? World Health Organization, United Nations, International Monetary Fund or World Bank. Send the answer to this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.